Really? Um, okay. Yeah. Hey, um, first of all, congratulations on the film. And also, I think you're going to have to... Um, the choice of clips seemed a little... Yeah. Yeah. But I don't really know what's going on there. That didn't help anyone. Well, not really. Uh, well, no. Yes. Well, Jesse Eisenberg... Right. Recognise them. Okay. He plays two characters in the film. Uh-oh. Oh. And... Well, I can't really say that, spoiling the plot, I've just well, realised. Well, then, then don't. It's all right. Essentially, it's like Avatar. If you like that... Right, got it. If you like go. Avatar, you're going to like this film. If you like The Godfather, just go. Right, great. <laughs> got it. Yeah. Uh, do you, would you like to talk about the plot of another film? Yeah. Perhaps a film you've seen that you okay. enjoyed? Well... The Godfather's good. Godfather is good, yeah. Pretty really good. Yeah, yeah. I watched The Godfather 2 recently. I really enjoyed it. I mean, it's also I've, good. I've seen it many times, of course, but every time it's on cable, I'm like, it's Fredo. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. It's very frightening. You seem to be uh, slightly English in your accent. I am almost totally English in my accent. <laughs> Which part of England are you from? I'm from London. Oh, I live in London. You've, have you seen it? I've, I've been there. <laughs> I, used to, I used to live there, actually. Well, get out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've you, never met anyone who's been... Who lived there? Before. Yes, yes, I lived there. I lived in Islington. This is amazing. Mm-hmm. It's a very nice place, Islington. It is now. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I, I was born in Elephanton Castle. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. That's, uh, it's, it's... That's still... Salt of the earth, you know. It's still tough. Yeah, it's very... It's uh, not so... I yes, know. it's... Do uh, you still live there? Well, this is the thing. For a while, I lived in this place... And um, there's uh, kind of, you know, the Times newspaper? Yes. You have papers here. Not and anymore, no. No, no. no. It's, all it's, all, it's all tweets all now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, um, hashtag. So, mm -hmm. um, is that this show? It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go, it's fine. There was a picture of a house, and it said, Is this the worst place to live in England? And it was six doors down from where I lived. <laughs> So I lived on the A40, do you know that? Yes, yeah, it's asthma. a road, yes. Yeah, like, and I got asthma from living in this place. Oh, good lord. And when we moved Did you out, have to clean chimneys as a child or anything? Yeah. It was much like the life of Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> and, um, and when we moved, there was a black ring around all of our possessions. You couldn't hear your phone ring in this house. Good it was lord. Nice. Well, you don't, well, well, where do you live now? We, we still live there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> We moved back in, because we just... There's something about the atmosphere that was, it was carbon monoxide, but we like... Well, I don't know. It sounds, how's your asthma now? Are you all right? I occasionally have a seizure. Really? But it's Do you like, have to have one of those... <laughs> things? Yeah, yeah, which is a really erotic sight. Um, so, yeah, I occasionally do that, but only if I want to seduce someone. You find the asthma lulls a prospective sexual partner into a sense of... Randiness, I guess? I think pity. Is pity? The word. Pity sex is still sex, my friend. Well, it, it's something. Yes, it certainly it's is. Something. Mm. Have you seen Foil's War? My brother in law is in it. Shut <laughs> up! I will not. Who is he in it? He, well, I haven't seen it. But All right. He, he's called Lawrence Fox, and his wife. He was, played the. Uh, yes, and yes. he's married to Billy Piper, yes, who was yes, here. Yes, she's my sister in law. Oh, shut up! Oh, well, that's amazing. Out. Yes. So, uh, well, yes. there you are. But you, yes. yet your brother-in-law, who you, you, you so admire and yes. respect, but you never watched him when he was in Foil's War, man. Out of admiration and respect for Well, him. that's fair enough. <laughs> Is the show very popular in Britain? I don't... I don't really know what's going on in any walk of life. So, I mean, it might be... Are you, are you, are you a, a weird loner type? I'm, I'm inside a lot. I, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Is, is it, do you hate people? I'm not nuts on people. Mm. I mean, my default position is no. <laughs> um, I, th I think I like you very much indeed. I don't know. It's okay. I mean, I'm, if I meet a new person, I'm not like, hey, this is going to be good. No, no, I'm, no, I'm no. I'm generally, this is not going to pan out. Yeah. <laughs> Well, because most of the time you're right, and if you yeah. and then if you are right, you're not disappointed. Yes. So, are you in therapy at all? 
No. Well, you are not. Really? So okay. don't you think... How do you find it? Is it urine therapy? Are oh, you... all the time. Is yeah. it good? I find it, it's interesting in a way of kind of sort of taking an inventory of yourself. You know, right. Kind of finding out, oh, oh see, uh, that's why I make such uh, questionable choices. Right. You know, but how can you trust yourself to be delivering accurate information? Well, now you've just ruined therapy for me. <laughs> No, I think you don't trust yourself to deliver accurate information. You, take, you just deliver information without judgment and allow the therapist to interpret whatever information you give them. You're able to do that? Well, it's a trust situation, you know. Uh, you see, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> No. Well, let's give it a shot. You tell me a piece okay. of information okay. about you, and I'll play the role of the therapist, which I'm not qualified to do, okay. much like Dr. Phil. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I occasionally use my inhaler for the purposes of seduction. No, that's not true. I, um, you know, I, I drink a lot of Diet Coke now, mm. and I'm worried that I'm too close to you. Because, you know... Oh, you're going to uh, pass gas, or...? I, th uh, I, I think I could expel. Uh, are we talking upstairs expel or downstairs expel? I'm talking about anything. Oh, expel, all right. I'm talking about anything. Well, yeah. well first of all, it's a perfectly yeah. natural bodily function. Okay. Why would you be ashamed of it? Well, I'd feel it might end up looking like a mark of disrespect or a oh. comment on the proceedings. Oh. <laughs> no, no, okay. no. No, do you worry about uh, being disrespectful to other people? Do you worry about what other people think of you? I'm, you know, look, I am wearing these socks, so I can't be that concerned. So, yeah. um, I... <laughs> You know, that's good. That looks like an exact replica of the carpet from The Shining. Yeah. Which, uh, good. Well spotted. Yeah. Yeah, it actually is. is and it? they're they're tights. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good. They go all the way up. All to the your way neck. up. Yeah, yeah. About here. Yeah, that's yeah. good. So you, then there's a little strap, little spaghetti strap over the top, and you can go right in the ocean. Yeah. So, um, well, I don't know that I'm that worried about what people think about Maybe me. a little bit. Maybe people you admire. That usually be, is the thing. If you admire someone, you want them to like you, oh, perhaps? I would hope that they wouldn't, otherwise I'd have to stop admiring them. Ah, I see. <laughs> now, this is the Quentin Crisp dilemma. This is the Groucho thing. Right. Well, the, the Groucho thing, not being a member of a club that would have you as a member. Yeah. Quentin Crisp had a great one because he was gay, of course, mm -hmm. and he used to say his ideal man was a large, dark, heterosexual male. But of course, the minute if that man was interested in him, he would no longer be interesting I see. because he would no longer be heterosexual. However, I put it to you, that's a safety device to a keep people device. at a distance. Well, I don't know that it is more than a disagreement over their assessment of my abilities which would call into question their actual greatness. Mm, I doubt it. I think it's to do with fear. Really? Of what? Mice. Okay. <laughs> I am afraid of mice. And that'll be $100. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. I'm afraid of mice. Good. And that's why you should be in therapy. That's why I should be in therapy. Yeah. Or I could, you know, just speak to someone I know about this. Well, there's that too, I yeah. suppose, yeah. But, you know, it, it seems good. You like it? Yeah, I enjoy it, it's you okay. know. Passes the time. Yeah. Gets me out of the house. Yeah. We're out of time, actually. Well, we're always out of time. <laughs> no, it's... Well, time's always gone, I guess. Well, the minute you see it... I yeah, I know. It it's already in the past, and we're dying now. <laughs> 7th of July is going to be good, though. Oh, come on. I, I think we're dying now is exactly what you want to go to a break on. <laughs>